A storm out at sea has destroyed the Turkish fleet that were headed to attack Cyprus. However, fortunately, the ship carrying Desdemona, Cassio, Rodrigo and Iago and his wife Emilia arrives. As they await the arrival of Othello's boat, Iago notices the close friendship between Cassio and Desdemona, scheming that he can use this action to suggest that the two are having an affair, thinking that this might cause Cassio to lose his position as lieutenant. When Othello's ship finally arrives, the group go to celebrate their victory over the Turks. However, Iago remains with Rodrigo and convinces him that Cassio will be Desdemona's second choice once she grows tired of Othello. He persuades Rodrigo to start a fight with Cassio that evening while Cassio is drunk from celebrating. Cassio will react violently and fall out of favour with Othello and therefore with Desdemona. Iago reveals to the audience his underlying fears that Othello has slept with his wife, Emilia. He talks about his own desire for Desdemona, hoping that through Rodrigo's attack on Cassio, Othello will come to suspect Desdemona of being unfaithful, destroying their relationship. A herald, the official messenger, announces that the evening will be spent celebrating the defeat of the Turks and Othello's wedding to Desdemona. As Cassio stands on guard amid the celebrations, Iago persuades him to start drinking. When Rodrigo makes his accusation, Cassio is drunk and reacts violently, disgracing himself as Iago planned. As a group of men try to restrain him, Cassio in drunken anger stabs Montano the previous governor of Cyprus. When Othello is summoned to the scene, he is outraged and dismisses Cassio from his position. Iago comforts Cassio, suggesting he appeal to the compassionate Desdemona so she will help change Othello's mind. Once again, events have worked out exactly as Iago planned, indicating his skill as a master manipulator. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on Othello, check out our summary of Act 3.